inside Donald Trump's presidential campaign. His fund fundraising is lagging far behind Hillary Clinton's. That news coming on the heels of the sudden firing of his top aide. We're going to talk to Mr. Trump live in a moment. But first, NBC national correspondent Peter Alexander is at Trump Tower here in New York. Peter, good morning. Hi, Savannah. Good morning to you. Donald Trump insists that he is not beholden to big money, but this morning there is new evidence that he faces a significant disadvantage when it comes to campaign fundraising. Also this morning, he's trailing badly in the polls. Here is the latest. Our NBC News Survey Monkey National Online Tracking Poll shows Trump trailing Clinton by six points, 48 to 42. There's also a new swing state poll out this morning by Quinnipiac that shows in Ohio and in Pennsylvania, Trump and Clinton are basically neck and neck, but in the battleground of Florida, Trump trails Clinton by eight points. Donald Trump's fundraising hall so poor, it's jaw dropping, raising $3 million in May, the very month he secured the Republican nomination and ending the month with barely a million dollars in the bank. The kind of numbers that would be weak for a congressional campaign, not to mention a run at the White House. Compare that to Hillary Clinton at a celebrity-studded fundraiser Monday night with stars including Jennifer Lopez, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Sarah Jessica Parker. She outraised Trump 9-1, to 1, raking in $27 million ending the month with $42 million on hand. Trump's campaign writing checks to a wide range of Trump properties and businesses, more than $420,000 alone in rent to Mar-a-Lago, his exclusive Florida club, but not a single dollar spent on TV ads. Hours after firing controversial campaign manager Corey Lewandowski, Trump downplayed the dismissal. He's a good guy. He's a friend of mine. But I think it's time now for a different kind of a campaign. Lewandowski, who's admitted to a strict confidentiality agreement with Trump in an interview with NBC News, remaining fiercely loyal. I respect Mr. Trump. I respect him uh, more so than any other person who's ever entered this race. And ducking repeated questions about his firing. Did Donald Trump have the courtesy to tell the, you that you had been fired or did somebody else tell you that? Look, I had, a, I had a great conversation with Mr. Trump and I can tell you this. It's been a privilege for me to serve the last 19 months on this campaign. Sources close to the campaign tell NBC News Trump's children, Ivanka, Eric, and Donald Jr., confronted their father in a meeting early Monday, urging him to oust Lewandowski. So is it a course correction or just cosmetic? Some Republicans are alarmed by what they see as Trump's lack of campaign discipline, reiterating his idea to ban Muslims after the Orlando massacre and relentlessly targeting a federal judge for his Mexican heritage. Campaign manager Paul Manafort now taking the helm. Lewandowski's tenure notably contentious, his rivalry with Manafort and a series of physical confrontations, grabbing a protester's collar, later arrested for allegedly assaulting a reporter, but no charges filed. At the time, Trump stood by his top aide. I know it'd be very easy for me to discard people. I don't discard people. I stay with people. I stay with a lot of people that are treated unfairly. After Lewandowski's firing, one Trump advisor tweeted this photo, writing, Ding dong, the witch is dead. That aide, Michael Caputo, resigning hours later. And there's new information this morning about a 19-year-old British man who was arrested at a Donald Trump political rally in Las Vegas on Saturday. Investigators say Michael Stephen Sanford tried to grab a police officer's gun at the event, later telling authorities that he wanted to, quote, shoot and kill Trump. A law enforcement official tells NBC News that Sanford has mental problems. Matt and Savannah. Well, Peter, back to the firing of Corey Lewandowski. I mean, he certainly was a lightning rod for a long time, and yet it seemed to take almost everyone by surprise, including perhaps Corey Lewandowski himself. Yeah, that seems to be the case. As soon as there was some news out that Corey Lewandowski had been fired, a statement from the campaign, I called Corey Lewandowski, who answered on his cell phone. He said, hey, he seemed to be in good spirits. I said, I'm trying to find out more detail. Did you get fired? And what more can you tell me? He said, wait, what? 
and then the phone clicked. Sources within the campaign tell NBC News that in the early hours that this was taking place, there was this one described at Bedlam that very few people knew exactly what was going on. This morning, we're learning new information about the fact that it appears that Donald Trump's three adult children, as we were talking about uh, during the course of that piece, that they played some role in this. As you saw, I interviewed Corey Lewandowski yesterday. I asked him about reports about a conflict between him and Ivanka Trump's husband, Jared Kushner, who started to take a larger advisory role in the campaign. But Corey Lewandowski denied that there were any problems or conflicts between the two. Matt and Savannah. Lots to talk about, Peter. Thank you.